In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to do frequency separation and how to smoothen out the skin in Photoshop without the use of any external plugins or any softwares. My name is Ekor Didiha and welcome to my YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and start editing. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the background layer. Yeah, we're going to name the lower layer as color. And then the upper layer as texture. The reason to why we do this is we're gonna um, we're gonna work on the colors over here, and then we're gonna work on the textures over here. We're gonna separate both the color and then the texture in different layers. So that's why we name it like this. So we're gonna go ahead and then create the filters for it. So we're gonna disable the texture layer and then work on the color layer first. So what we'll do is we'll go to filter, we'll come to blur, come to Gaussian blur. Then what we'll do is we'll set a blur radius. You set the blur radius in a way that you are not gonna see so much of the uh, of the details of the image. You're gonna be able to preview that over here. So I normally love to set my my Gaussian blur radius at six or six point four. That's why I normally love to set my blur radius. At. So you can set yours at that side, or you can choose to play a lot uh, around with it and then see which blur radius is okay for you. Then you select OK. Afterwards, you come to the texture layer. Okay, and I will let come to image then you move to applied image yes so those are the settings that you have to pay attention to the most right so on the layer panel on the layer column you have it as meshed so what you do is you set it to color the color is the layers over here the layers that we created before so we're going to set it on color so it's going to use the color information in the color layer to create the texture to set that color then we come to multiply the blend mode and then we'll change it to subtract like this yes so you're gonna have the image looking something like this so we're gonna have the image looking something like this so always Pay attention to the side. The opacity should be set at 100, the scale at 2, and then the offset at 128. Always keep it like this. Then we we'll select OK. Then afterwards, we come to the blend mode and then change it to linear light. So we have the image back to how it was originally. Like this. Yes, so what we're going to do is we're going to group these two layers and then work on them exclusively. So, shift and then select all and then just control G to group them like this. So, after we open it up, I normally like to create a layer between the texture and the color layer. So I'm going to change the name to tones because that's what we will be working on the tones. At. So I select the color layer again, and then the tool I mostly love to do frequency separation with is the mixer brush tool. You know, I have it over here. Yes. So there's a settings I normally like to use. So what's a 73? Load at 27, mix at 23, and then the flow at 100. Yes, so afterwards, when I start to do my frequency separation, I start to even the colors out. 
so keep in mind you're gonna select the color layer that's where you're gonna do all your uh, smoothening at you're gonna do everything at the color layer and then you're gonna um, correct some of the blemishes on the face and stuff at the texture layer you can do it initially but you can also choose to go ahead and increase your filters and then work on them after you are done with um, the color air uh, with the smoothing or the coloring and then yeah balancing everything on the skin so we're gonna go ahead and then start smoothing things out so one thing you should um, take note of is when you're doing you're working on the highlights make sure you're working on the highlights alone when you're working on the mid-tones make sure you're working on the mid-tones alone and then in the shadows to make sure you're working on the shadows alone you don't have to mix them up so it's like that you're gonna go ahead and start I'm sorry I made a mistake I should have kept it on the color layer right now. so I guess yes it starts smoothing things out like that on her nose Just increase the brush by pressing the close bracket. Just like that. And so I keep smoothing it out like that. So what you're gonna do is you keep you keep doing it like this until you have the kind of skin that you know, we are looking out for. So keep going. technique for almost all my frequency separation work so almost all my retouch and waste and it works very well for me so kindly like my like this video if it's it helps if you've learned a couple of things from it one or two things from it and then don't don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as well because i'm going to be dropping tutorials every week if i can do two tutorials in a week as well i'm going to do that and i'm going to upload it over here for you guys so kindly subscribe and support support your brother <laughs> Smoothing her lips up like that. Let's look at the before and after. So that's the before, and this is the after. Let's we get in there. So we keep doing it slowly and gradually. So afterwards what I what I do is 
I'm going to move to the texture layer and then I select this tool this over here that's the spot healer brush tool and then I move to some of the imperfections on her face like this pimples over here and then I'll just select the texture layer and just brush on it what it does is it selects the pixels around it and then it, it fills it in So we can continue doing that. To get the perfect skin that you want in it. If you feel like it's okay for you then you leave it at that. So on the nose, the nose, the pores on her, her nose are very sharp and I like to soften it up a bit so I'm gonna just go through this paint over them. That's all that. So you just follow along with how I did everything and then trust me you're gonna get some good results. So if you learned anything at all from this video just drop a comment in the comment section. If there are anything there's anything that you'd like to know or there's anything that you love me to do a tutorial on, you can just drop that in the comment section as well now. I'm gonna check it out and then try and do a video about it for you so I just selected the patch tool and then with over here I just select it circle it and then move it like that yes, you can do that as well so I normally love the skin to be as natural as possible not too plastic here or not looking as if it's, it's a doll or something so I normally don't overdo it but if that's your choice if that's what you're going out for you can just go ahead and then just keep doing it to get the perfect skin that you want that fits what you want so into the color layer back i just still keep smoothing it out like and i move to the tone layer so what we're going to do in the tone layer is we're going to use the brush Yes, then we're going to set it to a soft round brush and you add the opacity as possible and then the flow and we're going to do some minor changes some minor editing over here Yeah, so You can see over here it's a bit, it looks kind of reddish, pinky more than this side so I'm going to even the tones out over there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a color between those two or I'll come to the pink and then like to increase the brush again and I'll start to paint over there the place I want to change so but careful you don't overdo this step because it's, it's, the, the image might look too flat when you overdo it 
so right here it here looks more yellowish and I don't want it so much so I'm gonna just brush over it this is small small changes not too much so we're gonna we're still gonna continue to do it until you remove whatever color you want to remove over there or get it the way you want Also, I'm just let the pink side and just paint over it like that. So, guys, that's the tutorial for today. That's how I do my frequency separation. That's just it. But from there, I proceed to edit in the eyes. I'm going to do another tutorial and then show you how I edit the eyes yes and then how i whiten it up and then make sure everything is on point for me so that's the tutorial for today i hope you enjoyed it subscribe to my youtube channel drop a comment if you like me to do anything at all and then please like this video and then share it to your friends and anybody who would like to learn photography or editing in photoshop so thanks so much for watching thanks so much for your time see you in the next one